Google have recently introduced an add-on to Google Sheets, which is a GA4 reports builder. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can install this add-on and how to create a really uh, basic GA4 report inside Google Sheets. So let's go do this right now. Okay, so this is uh, what we're going to be installing into our Google Sheets. It's called the GA4 Reports Builder. I do find it a little bit buggy. So if you find it's a bit glitchy for you, well, then it's not just you. It's really, I'm, I'm finding it quite buggy as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to Google Sheets. Okay, and make sure that the email address that you've used to log into Google Sheets is the same email address that you're trying to access for that GA4 report. That's really important because if the email addresses are different, they're not going to talk to each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to extensions and then add-ons and we want to get this add-on. So this opens up the Google Workplace Marketplace and we're just going to type in GA4 here. And you'll see there are a number of add-ons for GA4. So we want this GA4 reports builder for Google Analytics. And I'm going to click on this and I'm going to install this. This, of course, opens up a prompt where I've got to log in. So I'm just going to do that real quick. I'm going to allow permission. And now this report builder has been installed in Google Sheets, which is great. So I can just close this window. I might just refresh Google Sheets because, as I said, it's quite buggy. So let's see how we go here. So if we go to then extensions, we'll see our newly installed GA4 reports builder here. And we want to create a new report. So this is going to bring up a nice little window on the side here where we want to create our report. So let's give our report uh, a name. And so let's call it Alana's new report. And we're going to find our account here real quick. So I found my account and also the property within my account. So I have a number of properties within the one account. And then I want to choose the start and end date that I want this report uh, to gather the data for. So let's just choose this. I'm going to choose a specific date. I'm going to click on this calendar and let's go back to the 1st of August. And I'm also going to choose this and let's just choose this date. Okay, so this is where we're going to define the dimensions and the metrics. So you really need to think to yourself here, what actually, what information do I want to pull from Google Analytics? What report do I want to build right inside our uh, Google Sheet? So let's pretend that we want to see um, perhaps traffic sources. Now, if you're unsure of what dimension you want, it's often easier just to head on over to your Google Analytics and you can, so I've gone to the traffic acquisition report here and we can maybe try and find um, the session source medium. So this would be um, our dimension. So let's just do session. We're going to choose session source medium. And then these are the metrics that I want to choose here. So let's say I want users so let's just choose uh, new users and I can also get a sense of maybe I want to have what what information that I want so let's scroll across here and maybe I want uh, engage set engagement rate uh, let's just do that engagement rate and maybe I also want to see conversions even though there are no actual conversions for this particular report, but it's just to illustrate how to do this. And then we're going to click create report and it creates a tab here. And we have to then go back here to extensions, GA4 report builder. And then we want to run this report. And this is going to create a new tab called Alana's new report. Here we can see it here. And then we can see that, um, it's found our source medium. So double click here. These are the new users. This is the engagement rate. And obviously it's a percentage. So I can make it like that. And as I said, there's no conversion that's been set up for this analytics account. But if there was, then conversion data would be pulled in here. So really, that's how easy it is to create uh, a this type of report. I have found it, as I said, it's a bit buggy. So if you did want to change some of these dimensions and metrics, when I've when I've done that, it hasn't been able to update. So I've had to create a new report and do it that way. So really have a play with this, see what you think, 
and uh, let me know in the comments your experience with this GA4 Reports Builder. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up icon and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.